everybody. Welcome to the stream. I know it's been a while since the last time I streamed. Lots of stuff has happened. If this is your first time here, hey, my name is Naja B. I go by Blurdy or Blurdy Otoba if you want to keep things real formal. And we're playing Lover Pretend today. It is Lover Pretend release day. So we are playing the common route of Lover Pretend. It should be fun. We've done this for the other Axis Games releases. Um, and I'm super Her pretend, as stated by Axis Games. Chiyuki, the heroine, lives alone. She spends her days busily studying at college and her nights working late as a part-timer. She has two dreams. One is to become a screenwriter, the same aspiration her mother had before she died. The other is to find the father she never knew. She's never I can read. The only lead Chiyuki has is that her mother wrote a script for a popular drama before her before she was born. Maybe someone involved in the film knows something. In a stroke of good luck, she lands a job for a new show working with the same director. On its production crew are the sons of the men who worked on the very program. Chiyuki searches for answers as she tries her best at her new job, but as fate would have it, the young men are all vying for her attention and distracting her from the task at hand. Chiyuki tells herself she's simply pretending and this isn't really love, or is it? Will Chiyuki, who knows nothing of real love, be able to write her own story? No. Like, it's not an Otobe if there's not just a little bit of brosa sprinkled in for extra measure. And if that is your thing, I don't know why, but if it's your thing, if that's your kink, you have three, four potential guys who could possibly be your brother that you might fall in love with. Isn't that just delightful? Rosesterella, like, yeah, like the biggest bit of it is she is looking for her father. Uh, she's never known her father. Her mom passed away. Uh, she was a screenwriter and she worked on this uh, romantic drama before she died. And it, it was really popular at the time, but it's a little older. Thank you for the follow, Solarix. <laughs> Welcome to the party. I'm just describing a lover pretend before we dive into the game itself. Um, but yeah, her mom worked on this uh, drama and during the production of the drama, she got pregnant with Chiyuki and she gave up her dreams of being a screenwriter to raise Chiyuki. She died of an illness when Chiyuki was in uh, middle school and she was raised by her grandmother and her grandmother told her that her father might be one of the guys who was working on the production with her mom. So now Chiyuki is striving to become a screenwriter like her mother so that she can get into the industry and maybe find uh, some clues as to who might be her father. And um, yeah, it's low key Birushana, except Birushana fixed the process and created a completely different incest situation. Like, like no, no lie, no lie. Um, so yeah, it's it's more of a story of Chiyuki trying to kind of come into her own as a creator, as a screenwriter, and breaking into the industry and finding out who she is and what she really wants for herself, while also trying to find her father. Her quest for her father is a way for her to kind of find a center for herself and find a connection that she's never had with family. And she meets these guys on the set of this film that she's working on, and they each have a connection to one of the guys that could potentially be her dad. Um, let's. This is uh, Harumi's dad, and I was like, dope. I, I was like, yo, if this is what Harumi is going to look like in a few years, I want it. <laughs> I seeing the two of them next to each other, I was like, I want the daddy, I want him. So this is what Harumi is gonna grow up into. I'm here for it, thank you, please and thank you. This is uh, Riku's dad. I forgot his name. This is Riku's daddy. Um, he looks like a fuckboy. He looks like a grown up fuckboy. I could not get behind this one. I could not get, I mean, he's fine as an older man, but like, he just looks like he, he looks like he plays around too much. I can't with this one. Uh, why do we get to see the daddies? Because they're hot. Opening, cause you're like watching a movie and then you pan out and you're the person watching the movie. Is this the voice of the MC? She does not have a voice. The MC does not have a voice. Let me repeat that for those in the back. The MC does not have a voice. The voice of the MC will be done by me, Blurdy Otome. <laughs> I am the heroine. <laughs> it's a daybed, but my girl is sleeping in a crib. 
she even got a little stuffed bear in her crib. I can't unsee it now. <laughs> she has a crib. I was just about to say that. That's the first thing I noticed. I noticed it too. And I was like, why is she sleeping in a crib? She's a grown adult. This is Kazuma. He's our childhood friend and one of the love interests. And he's just adorkable. I love him so much. Thanks. But shouldn't you send your family that money since they're the ones who've been supporting you all this time? Don't worry about it. He says we're practically family. Where's my ring, bang? Where's my ring? Well, I guess we have known each other a pretty long time. <laughs> he is me. <clears throat> he said family zone since the beginning, huh? Pretty much. Pretty much. But yes, protect his smile. Look at that wink. He is so precious. Ah! I see. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's just like, yeah, get what you want within reason. I love it. I love it. Okay. Hmm. I gazed at the menu, which was filled with rows of sweets that would normally make me hesitate. Fruit tarts, souffles, even seasonal parfaits. The thought of getting to eat these treats for free won out against my guilt. He did say he'd treat me, but I probably shouldn't make him spend too much. I'll just order one. Need to take my time and decide. I poured over the menu intensely. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, wait. That's not the problem. <laughs> oh, he's disrespectful. Man is looking like he's going to battle for food. He is! He is an idiot. He is an idiot. And I love him. Kiss on the lips easy. <laughs> exactly. Kiss for free food. Bro. I would kiss my friend for free food. <laughs> so I say that right now. Kazuma raised his voice, completely ignoring my objections. Hey, wait. Hey, Keki. Koi na nori datte. Tekito ni hanashi awase to kya nan to ka naru. Oh my god. Say so yourself, idiot. Kazuma, I'm telling you. Uh, cafe employees' robotic question made me clam up. I glared at my best friend while he placed our order with a big old smile. Uh, I would do that for free food. Yeah, same. Agreed. Dempsey is going to carry this. Yes, she is. So, <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Kazuma flashed a cocky grin. Meanwhile, I was too flustered to say anything. He's definitely doing this to mess with me. He knows I hate stuff like this. Anyway, first we need to convince the server. I'll give him an earful later. He's got a punchable face. Look at his face. Such a punchable face. But I thought it wasn't free. It's about, it's free because he's paying for it. So this is pretty much how pretend time starts. Since this is the first one, it does come with a bit of a tutorial. So it's like, welcome to pretend time. Our mission is to convince the server that you're a couple. During pretend time, you will have a limited amount of time to make choices to fulfill certain conditions. Correct choices will uncover the puzzle, while incorrect choices will cover up the puzzle. <clears throat> when I was trying to catch liars and save money. 
If the entire screen is covered, you will fail for 10 times. This time the story will proceed even if you fail, but know that failing pretend time can sometimes lead to bad ends. No, that's not sometimes, it will always lead to a bad ending. If you fuck up a pretend time, you are going to get a bad ending. So pretend time mission, convince the server that you're a couple. Let's go. And they're color coded based on the characters. Okay, so which one of us confessed first? Um, because Kazuma's character color is orange, his stuff is orange. Ah, oh, Yeah, he's full of it. He is full of it. I hate him. He is like digging a deeper hole for us, and it's not even funny. That's so random. Under the what now? The server just smiled at me as I squirmed and desperately suppressed a comeback. Is this really going to work? Uh, um... Huh? Kazuma grinned again as I floundered in the face of the sudden question. You realize this is your fault, right? Er, anyway, I sh should keep up the act. I'll just have to play it by ear. Why did you agree to go out with him? Just because I didn't have a choice. Just because. And that's how it works. The questions show up. It, uh, the timer starts going and you have to select within the time period. You can time out the choices by not choosing. That is not an option that you should do. It pretty much is speed dating. Um, just because I guess. That is the real reason, because I want free food. Uh, because I liked you too? The server beamed at my obviously forced reply. Oh, yeah, mutual. <laughs> yeah. No idea why, but it looks like she bought it. Good enough, I guess. And when you make a right choice, the puzzle pieces clear away. <clears throat> my favorite thing about my partner. Oh my god, I hate him so much. <laughs> no fair! That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I, um, everything? Why I gotta be more specific? He literally said everything. Why can't I say everything too? This is, this is disrespectful. Why only me? God. Ah. I desperately racked my brain for an answer. What do I like about Kazuma? The first thing that comes to mind is... What's your favorite thing about Kazuma? He's an idiot. He's kind. He's an idiot. I like that he's an idiot, I guess. Huh? <laughs> I would say that too. He's also getting his ass whooped for this. Totally. Wait, what's the right answer? He's an idiot. The right answer is he's an idiot. <laughs> The right answer is always he's an idiot. <laughs> you think he's adorably slow like a pet would be? Oh my god. <laughs> the server is gold. Asuma stared at me wide-eyed as I finished my story, then pounded the table. Huh? <laughs> You know something's wrong when Kazuma is the voice of reason. He said, yo, isn't that literally your dream job? Why didn't you say yes? What is wrong with you? This is the friend you want to have in your corner. The one that tells you when you've just made a really dumb decision. But if I could meet anyone, I'd want to meet those three dudes who might be related to the three dudes who could be my dad. Before my grandmother died, she told me about a memento my mother had left behind. 
It was a collection of her unpublished works. Reading through them, I discovered the pen name my, mo my mother had been working under. The paper trail led me to one film in particular. The script was the only one she'd written that was ever filmed. The two-hour film aired about half a year before I was born. I'd done some amateur sleuthing to find out when the production took place and who had been involved with it. Who on the crew would have had contact with my pseudonymous, 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 that's such a stupid word. <laughs> Why is that a word? The pseudonymous rookie screenwriter. Just say the rookie screenwriter. Jesus. Otome Games be like, so you gonna learn the SAT words or nah, fam? This is Riku Nishijima. He is the son of a famous actor. He is also a famous actor. He's good looking, he's talented, he's smart, and he is jaded as fuck. So stop giving me jobs. I don't want to be pretty in, in, in film. God forbid. He's like, curse these good looks and my acting prowess. Ah, if only I could just be a normal person with no skills and ugly faces. <laughs> just move on, moving right along. Doo -doo -doo. Also, gotta give it to uh, Idea Factory and Otome for uh, advertising their own stuff on the walls. You can clearly see that um, P.O. Fiore is on the wall there. <laughs> when in doubt, just put up the posters for your own properties. How else to advertise an Otome game but inside of another Otome game? <laughs> then we got this one here. I'm too gorgeous. Womanizing ladies man. He is 24. <laughs> I don't need to squint, even in Christmas. I like how he's just like, I'm too gorgeous for this scene. <laughs> just leaning up against, <laughs> he's leaning up against the P.O. Fiore posters. <laughs> he's like all up on the P.O. Fiore posters, just like. <laughs> Put your hands up. Were arrested for being horny. He has such very long jail. fingers. <laughs> the hands. This is the worst one. He has got like such long fingers. I hope he drops his <laughs> No one holds a to-go cup like that because everyone who has ever had to hold a to-go coffee cup knows that that lid will pop off and spill coffee everywhere. I'm too sexy for this post. <laughs> like he's about to ruin somebody's entire life. I'm just like, yeah, I'ma just, you know, drop this cup casually. <laughs> this is one of the love interests, Harumi. He is my favorite in the game, so I will not take any slander against this baby. I will protect him with my life and Cosmo. These two, the other ones, you know, fuck. Hey. Thanks for today. Somewhat reluctantly, I turned to leave. Then... Juki. Huh? Push. <laughs> and then he yeeted her off into space. For an instant, I felt something touch my back. Warm, strong hands caressed me from behind, then gently pushed me forward. Cosma? What was that just now? Aww. He gave us a little push, guys! A reassuring platonic friend push! Ah, I love him so much! He's getting his monthly dose of heroin. <laughs> I can't. I'll admit, I'm falling just a little bit. It, he's adorable. Like, I love Kazuma. <laughs> oh my gosh. Only I can choose my own future. I gingerly stroked my mom's picture as her words resonated in my heart. 
I've never met my father. I don't know his name or his face. He has his own life, maybe even his own family. But even so, I want to know the truth. I quietly reached for the remote, of course. Let's watch some TV after that emotional moment. Just as I'd done many, many times before. Once more, I watched the story my mother had crafted, trying to glean how she'd met my father. This is like how, how I met your mother, the Otome. But it's more, actually, it is how I met your mother, the Otome. I take it. As I watched the credits roll, I quietly spoke one thought aloud. My father has to be one of these people. Click. It took us three hours to get to this point. <laughs> yes, we jam it. Three hours. That's uh, that's pretty much it for me. I'm super glad you guys came through today for the stream. I hope you had a lot of fun. I did. I love Love or Pretend. It was really fun playing the prologue with you guys, even though we didn't make You guys are super special also, and this was a super fun stream. I had a lot of fun. If this is your first time here, or you forgot, or you're just sliding in now, my name is Naja B. I go by Blurdy or Blurdy Otome. I'm on the gaming site, blurdyotome.com. You can find me on the interwebs as Blurdy Otome everywhere, though I am most active on Twitter and Instagram, probably Instagram more so now. Um, and I do have a TikTok, which is not up there, where I post stuff occasionally. I just did a TikTok for Love or Pretend, kind of my thoughts on the characters. So if you want to check that out, it, I did post it on Twitter. So you can see it there. Um, and as always, if you like what you see, definitely give the channel a follow.